as you guys know being a youtube content creator can be so so stressful and how can i make this happen to me how in this video you'll be learning everything you shouldn't do everything that i did that you shouldn't do we'll be discussing finding your niche how i was monetized and then demonetized absence account being deactivated starting all over again so if you want to know what not to do this is the video for you this is the first time i'm making content like this it's been in my spirit like literally i got out of my sleep thinking about this and thinking that okay you see lack of knowledge is a serious thing as a small youtuber and as a content creator not knowing everything because sometimes we would find and we would look at other youtubers to see what to do and what not to do i'm going to tell you everything from start to finish and i hope if i can at least help one person which i know i am definitely going to do because this is the stage i am in where i was monetized and then demonetized finding a niche everything that you need to know you can get it right here this is the first time i'm making a video like this reasons being even as a youtuber i'm not comfortable like being behind the camera in terms of like communicating with my device normally i do like voiceovers or i do like little snips you know but having an entire conversation with your phone if i can at least help one person i'll be so happy for that because these are things that i did not know firstly we're going to speak about finding your niche finding your niche is very important as a small youtuber you will not know what is your niche in the beginning it's okay to have videos that suck that is quite okay until you are able to see what you really like sometimes it's very demotivating posting a video you have no views let me don't say no views but you have little views right mainly family are watching your stuff and you feel demotivated because you know you you work so hard editing creating and then when you post it the views are not up that is very demotivating but in terms of consistency you would hear everybody speaking about that but consistency is very important because let me tell you something after posting this video one video must hit in the algorithm all you need is one video to hit the more that you post is the more likeliness and the more probability that one out of how many videos you have could hit the algorithm and your channel can blow up from there right so finding your niche is also important in terms of when you are creating or when you're editing because editing is a task right when you're creating you don't feel like this is a job you don't feel like oh it's so hard finding a niche is basically finding what you love finding what you enjoy as a youtuber there are many ideas that can be done whether educational vlogging cooking sometimes you might think okay for youtube you need a bubbly personality or your personality isn't the best who's gonna like you who's this who's that because sometimes i would watch like other youtubers and be like oh why my personality can't be so vibrant you know so energetic so communicative with the audience or with your device and to tell you the truth everybody have their audience there's an audience for everybody. Don't tell my grandmother, I will see her watching vlogs and I'll be like, what are you watching? Because in terms of like my vlogging, how my edits and stuff would be, it's like certain people don't edit. And when I watch the, and when I watch your views on that channel from that video, it was over 300 K. And to me, the video wasn't, of my likeness but you know what it was of my grandmother's likeness and it will be of basically 300,000 people likeness so who are you to say okay your video in the best uh, you know you might feel a like, how oh, about this about that don't be too hard on yourself as I say there's an audience for everybody and understanding that is fine consistency make sure you do that right so how i got monetized i started making youtube content three years ago i wasn't consistent 
um because when i started up you know it starts up hot and sweaty and then the views were not high so that was demotivating i would stop i'll post a little video here and there then it had a time that i started back and one of my videos blew up it had over a hundred thousand views on it and when that blew up i got monetized so basically i had over my 500 subscribers i got my 4,000 watch hours and guys the mistake i made because it's like you work so hard and i just stopped like i have no excuse like after that video blew up i posted i believe like two videos after that and i just stopped for an entire year i stopped making content for an entire year i have no i can't even remember why i stopped to be honest with you guys and it was like you work so hard to reach where you wanted to go and you just stop it makes no sense right so don't do what i did don't be a me <laughs> don't don't right mistakes number one youtube sent me my letter and email and i did not hook up my pin number to my account number one mistake why i really don't know like i was going through some kind of crisis i i don't know <laughs> that's one and two as i stated i was not posting what i did not know is that if you don't post for six months they will deactivate your account youtube will deactivate your account and i'm pretty sure a lot of people do not know that so you learn something there keep posting whether it's a video per month or um let's just say you want to take a break and you post any fourth month that's okay as well but don't be a me and want to go a year holiday in <laughs> had to be it had to be that right um so that was my mistake since account can be deactivated for two reasons right it can be deactivated for inactivity meaning that you haven't posted in six months so six months is the limit right inactivity and also for copyright mm -hmm. infringement so meaning like if youtube assumes that a lot of your videos are copyrighted they will deactivate your account for that so you have to be careful with this stuff currently my absence account has money in it but i cannot access it until i'm eligible for youtube or become a youtube partner again i will show that i will show that up on the screen so i got money there and i can't access it right and it is not going up even with the content that i'm posting because i'm not eligible anymore as i was monetized before my absence account was deactivated for inactivity now i have to work all over again i have to go through the entire process all over again even though i have the 500 subscribers i have to get back the 4000 watch hours i think so far i have 900 and something and the 300 the 3000 and something i have to get back and watch hours so it's like beginning from scratch but one thing that i tell myself one not one thing two things that i tell myself one it was my fault it was my fault for reaching this level for you know not posting because i had no excuse but at the same time because of lack of knowledge i didn't know this would have happened to me if i knew I would have be posting number two i know to myself because i have reached the level of monetization before i can do it again that's the inspiration that i'm going with right now so i recently start back posting content and in my head it's like okay baby girl now like before when i started it's in the earliest i would have been like watching my views and then so depressed like oh my gosh like why is nobody watching my stuff <laughs> but now even though like some of my videos because i just restarted and some of the views may be low i'm not deterred from that because as i stated because it happened before it could happen again and that's good my channel will be monetized again all you need is one video to blow up in order to get back that watch hours and alongside more subscribers and more people being intact and in tune with your channel if this video was helpful to you, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you like, I post vlogging content and of course, 
um i might post little youtube content here and there educating you guys as we go along together because it's about growing as a community i don't normally make videos like this this is my first time so i hope i communicated well to you guys i hope i helped at least one person i educated one person to not make the mistakes that i made on youtube and yeah let's just keep striving and growing our channels together